Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will explain how and what you need to do to start live streaming on YouTube. Follow my step-by-step -step guide to start streaming. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments section. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. First things first, let's talk about what streaming on YouTube really involves. Streaming is broadcasting live to your audience, allowing real-time interaction, which can make your content more engaging. YouTube offers two types of live streaming, Stream Now and Event. Stream Now is quick and straightforward, while Event gives you more control over the streaming settings. Before you start streaming, you'll need a YouTube channel. If you don't have one, setting it up is easy. Just follow YouTube's step-by-step -step process. I'll show you how to create a channel. Click on Create a Channel. Put a name and handle for the channel. Go to Customize Channel. Here you can customize your channel further. Here you can add featured videos, shorts, and channel trailer. Here you can add a channel logo and banner. Add the description to your channel here. Once your channel is ready, enable live streaming by verifying your account and agreeing to YouTube's terms. Remember, it will take up to 24 hours to activate your live streaming capabilities. It's time to choose your broadcasting software. OBS Studio is a popular choice because it's free and works well with YouTube. Let's download and install OBS Studio. Set up OBS Studio by linking it to your YouTube channel via the stream key. This can be found in your YouTube dashboard under the stream settings. You're almost ready to go live. But first, let's prepare. Plan your content, whether it's discussing a topic, sharing a skill, or playing a game. Create a compelling title and description for your stream. Use relevant keywords to help viewers find your stream. Also, create a good and appealing thumbnail for your live stream. I will show you how to create a good stream. Just follow my steps. Let's start with the title of the stream. The title is the most important thing in live streaming. If your title looks interesting, more people will be attracted to your stream. Now, to create a good title, you need to explain the topic of your stream in an interesting way. Like, if you're playing a game, Try adding keywords like giveaways, update, etc. This will attract more people to your stream. I will show you how to create a good title for your stream. Follow me. First, write the topic of your stream in a notepad or something else. Then you can either ask ChatGPT to give you a compelling title or create one yourself. You can also include emojis to make your title better. Moving on to description. The description also plays an important role in keeping people on your stream. In the description, explain what are you doing in the live stream. Explain everything in detail if you're playing a game. Explain what are you going to do in the game. Or if you're discussing a topic, give the details about the topic in the description. Also, add links to the blog, game, or the topic you're talking about, and add your social media links as well. It helps you grow faster. You can also ask ChatGPT to give you a description of your stream. Just type, give me a description of a YouTube live stream and add the title of the stream. Next is choosing a category. Select the category your stream is about. Adding a category makes your stream easier to find. There are many different categories given in the categories menu. Select whichever suits your stream. For example, I'm doing a gaming stream, so I will select the gaming category and type the name of the game I'm playing. When your stream ends, it is saved in the live section of your channel. But if you want your viewers to find your old stream easily, you can put it in a playlist. You can create playlists for anything, like if you play three different games, you can make a playlist for each of them. Make sure to add your stream to the playlist whenever you start a new one. Thumbnail plays an important role in recommending your stream. If your thumbnail is good and interesting, people will click the stream. You need to add key elements in your thumbnail as well. Like if talking about the latest topic, make sure to add the key elements of the topic. If you're doing a giveaway, add that as well. Make your thumbnail appealing. You can use Canva, Adobe Photoshop, or any other software to make your thumbnail. Next, tick all these checkboxes. Next is adding tags. Tags help viewers find your stream. To add tags to your stream, go to rapidtags.io and type the title of your stream there. Then hit enter and there you go. The tags are generated. Now copy these tags and paste them into YouTube's tags menu. Leave the rest as it is. Moving on to customization. Here you can customize live chat replay, live reactions, etc. Live chat. If you check this box, your viewers can chat during your live stream. Live chat replay. If you check this box, your live chat will be recorded and you and your viewers can see it even after the stream ends. Participant modes. Here you can select 
who can chat in your stream? If you check anyone, everyone can chat in your stream. If you check the subscribers box, only those who subscribe to your channel will be able to chat. It is good to do when you're just starting streaming because you need subscribers. You can also set the timer people need to be subscribed to you before they can chat. Live commentary. If you check this box, only selected users that you add can send chat during your live stream. Live reactions. If you enable live reactions, your viewers will be able to send reactions through emojis during your live stream. Slow mode. In slow mode, you can add a custom time interval for the chat. Enable this if you don't want people to spam in your chat. You can put a one second to five minute delay. Here you can redirect your viewers to either your or someone else's video or live stream. If you're redirecting to someone else, they need to do the same for you. Here you can add a 15 second to three minute trailer of either your stream or video. Next is visibility. In the visibility tab, you can select if you wanna do a private, unlisted, or public live stream. Private. Private means only you can see the stream. Unlisted. Unlisted means only people who have the stream link can see the stream. This option is useful when you're doing a special stream. Public. Public means everyone can see your stream. Schedule. Here you can schedule your stream to automatically start at a specific time and date. You can schedule a stream and take the time to prepare for the stream. The basic settings for your stream are given in the stream dashboard. Let's start. Stream settings. Here you can find your stream key, stream URL, latency, and other settings. Stream key. The stream key is the universal address of your stream. It is used to go live from other streaming software. It is a very crucial detail. Make sure to hide it from everyone else because anyone can stream on your channel if they have the stream key. Stream URL. A streaming URL is a unique web address that serves as the destination for delivering live video content during a live streaming session. It is generated by the live streaming platform or software and allows viewers to access the live stream. Stream latency. Stream latency is the delay between your camera capturing an event and the event being displayed to viewers. There are a total of three latency options given in the streaming dashboard. Number one, normal latency. This option is the highest quality setting for viewers since it has the lowest amount of viewer buffering. All resolutions and live features are supported at normal latency. Number two, low latency. Choose this option if you plan to have limited interaction with your audience and don't need to wait for responses, such as with polls. Most viewers of a low latency stream will experience a latency of less than 10 seconds. This setting is a good balance between the other two options. This setting does not support 4K resolution. Number three, ultra low latency. Choose this option if you want to converse with your audience. Most viewers of an ultra low latency stream will experience latency of less than five seconds. It may increase the chances that your viewers get buffering. This setting does not support 4K resolution. Here you can enable or disable auto start and auto stop. When auto start is enabled, stream will start once you press go live in your streaming software. Similarly, when auto stop is enabled, Stream will end when you press end stream in your software. DVR. Turning on YouTube's DVR feature lets your viewers pause, rewind, and continue during the live stream. Once a viewer resumes playing, the live stream will continue from where they hit pause. Added delay. Added delay is similar to latency. You can add a pre-made delay to your stream. Closed captions. If you enable closed captions, YouTube will auto-generate captions during your stream. Just select embedded 608 708 and then select the language you're streaming in. This feature doesn't work in ultra low latency. Unlist live replay. If you enable unlist live replay when the stream ends, it will unlist the chat replay and your viewers will not be able to see the chat of an old stream. Moving on to stream analytics. You can see all the analysis of the stream here live in the form of a graph. You can see concurrent viewers, chat rate, views, and average view duration. Concurrent viewers. Concurrent viewers means the number of people watching at the current time. Chat rate. Chat rate means the rate at which people are sending messages in real time. Views. Views mean the number of times your stream has been visited by someone. Average view duration. It means the amount of time people spent watching your stream divided by total views. Moving to stream health. Well, if anything happens to your stream, it will be shown in this tab. For example, if your audio or video bitrate is low, then YouTube will give you a notification. Moving to chat options. There are a total of two chat options one top chat. If this option is selected, the spam messages will not appear. Two, live chat. If this option is selected, all messages will be shown. 
Now in this options menu, you can see stream participants, toggle timestamps, and live reactions, and pop out the chat menu. You can chat yourself as well and also pin messages. You can hide or unhide members from your live chat or add a moderator to your stream who can manage chats for you. Be careful while choosing your manager because he can pin, unpin, or delete chat messages. A manager can also put a user on timeout for five minutes. On the top here, you can share your live stream to other social media platforms, add a stream marker, and create a highlight of the stream. In the edit tab, you can change almost all the settings you made while creating the stream. You can even edit these details while streaming. If you want to change your stream title or description while streaming, you can use this tab. All right, it's showtime. Hit the go live button in your streaming software and you're on air. Engage with your viewers by keeping an eye on the chat. Interacting with your audience builds community and keeps people coming back. Lastly, after your stream ends, consider asking for feedback and reviewing your performance to improve future streams. Every stream is a learning experience. There you have it. You're ready to start streaming on YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon so you don't miss our future videos. Happy streaming, and I'll see you online.